Good morning, O'Neill. I hope everyone's having an amazing day today. I hope you enjoyed the very hot weekend and was able to um, uh, have fun in these last couple days of summer before fall begins on um, September 22nd. Um, so uh, there's a couple things I wanted to share with you for this week that we need to talk about that can be a little bit um, concerning. So um, students and families, uh, I don't know if you've heard about um, uh, TikTok and some of the problematic behaviors that are being encouraged on TikTok. One of those behaviors is causing damage to bathrooms and schools. We cannot have this at O'Neill. Our uh, bathroom downstairs uh, and one of our bathrooms upstairs, the soap dispensers have been completely ripped off the walls. Also, the little things that are inside the urinals are being picked up and put in toilets. This is just not the expectation here at O'Neill. According to our matrix that's on the wall and that we've talked about here at school, you go to the bathroom, you do your business, and you get out. There is no excuse for this kind of destruction and problems within the bathroom. As of today, we will be having a sign out to go to the bathroom if you are not going with the rest of your class. Also, if these kind of things continue, we're going to have to close down bathrooms and then only utilize the nurse's office if there is a need to go to the bathroom. Our goal is to keep everyone safe at school and also to make sure that we are being respectful to the school that you love. So please, this is not cool doing these TikTok bathroom stuff. And it's a little bit kind of nasty picking up stuff from the urinals. Eesh, I wouldn't want to do that. So let's just quit it. Let's just stop doing these kind of things in the bathrooms because you are better than that. So um, that's something that we are going to make sure that ends today. All right. It's very important. Um, some other things, some uh, positive things, is that we are trying to start up our parent advisory councils. That will be uh, starting in October, and as well as our The O'Neill Connection. So uh, families, please look out for some surveys coming out about that to get what your interests are and um, what uh, we can do to fun and exciting for our school. And students, please let your parents know. Fill out that survey so we can have fun at O'Neill. And last but not least, our kindergartners are getting their iPads. So that'll be very exciting. And they will need to be set up um, for now. They're going to be staying at school to be utilized um, within the classroom. Um, but I'm sure once um, they get a whole understanding of how to use it, um, there'll be opportunities to be sent home. So just so you are aware of that. All right. So um, enrichment started this week where we have our first grade and second grade um, getting some small group instruction with our um, art, music, and PE teachers in uh, interventionists as well as um, their classroom teachers. And first grade, um, one of their uh, curricular areas is focusing on um, important people in the neighborhood. And so, um, I found this book and I thought it was really sweet and it might be a good way to tie in our uh, understanding of that there is good people everywhere. <laughs> and this is by Leanna Gillian. All right. There are, there are good people everywhere. Mm -hmm. Today in neighborhoods all over the world, Millions and millions of people are doing very good things. Today, 
Carpenters are building fences and houses and repairing homes that have been damaged by storms. Guys fixing a roof, making a fence. It's important work. Today, moms and dads are cooking dinner for their families and cooks are working in kitchens, making meals for people who don't have homes. Doctors and midwives are delivering babies and gently passing them into the eager arms of their parents. Teachers are teaching math, spelling, and reading skills. Musicians are opening their hearts and playing beautiful music. And dancers are leaping across dance floors, practicing performances that will bring joy to their friends, their families, and communities. Today, people are planting seeds, picking fruits and vegetables. And driving them to grocery stores all around the world so you can have a ripe, juicy orange in your lunch. Or it makes me think of apple picking. Are any of you going to go apple picking soon? Mm, I hope so. It's fun. Today, a child is trying her very best to do well on her science test. And a teenage boy is helping a young child who is sad and lonely. This makes me think of two friends that we have that I see a bro two brothers that are always playing so nicely in the morning together on the park. You know who you are. Keep being nice to each other. Today, a first grade boy is helping a friend who has a skinned knee. And a big sister is holding her baby brother while her mother runs across the street to help a neighbor. Do you ever help your siblings at home? Moms and dads and grandmas have to go run and do something? You're a good person to do that. Today, millions and millions of people will do very good things. Like going to the bathroom, doing your business, washing your hands, and get out. <laughs> and so will you. I wonder what you will do good today. And then this is kind of fun. I want you to try this with me. It says, who are the good people in your community? And maybe I can share this with her, with our first grade team. It says, close your eyes and think of all the good people in your life. Think of your friends, family, neighbors, and teachers. Now think of other people who help you, like store clerks, the mail carrier, and the farmers who grow the food you eat. Draw a circle with these per people around it, like drawing here. You can use draw paper, dolls, stick figures, or faces. Draw yourself in the center. Write down the names of the people around and inside the circle. Decorate your circle and put it in a special place to help you remember the good people in your life. I like that. That's a good fun activity to try. All right. And that is good people everywhere. And I hope you have a marvelous Monday.